Inside the all-new Black in America 2, AC 360, CNN Tonight, 10 Eastern. Times are tough. That's hardly news, but here's news. Some communities are thriving with stable home prices, low unemployment, and one of those places is Fargo, North Dakota. CNN's Gary Tuckman found out for himself. Whatever happened to those bullish economic days? When the housing market was vibrant, when there were plenty of jobs, when government budgets had surpluses. Those days still exist, but probably not where you are. You have to come where I am, to Fargo, North Dakota, where the typical morning temperature this time of year is around zero, and the unemployment rate isn't much higher. Dennis Wallacher is the mayor of Fargo. Is the city of Fargo, North Dakota in recession? No, we're not. The unemployment rate is 3.4%, so low that most economists consider it full employment. At Apario Systems, an aerospace firm, the 44 employees here are not enough. So we're going to grow more than 50% this year in personnel, more than 100% in revenue. This iron worker is so busy, he has no time to talk to me on the ground. And away we go. Okay, let's go. So how's business out here? It's really good. The wind chill temperature in the negative digits doesn't seem to cool the workers' outlook here as they build an office building. So there's a lot of projects, though. Oh, absolutely. You can you, always you can find work. Absolutely. You can quit your job today and go find another job. Easy. Business downtown is booming. The housing market is still decent. So the homes aren't losing the value here in Fargo? No, they're not. And North Dakota has the largest budget surplus in the nation, one of only four states with a surplus this year. So what the heck is going on here? Here, a consistent answer at Fargo's curling rink. People in the upper Midwest are very conservative. They don't tend to overextend themselves and stuff. There's just a work ethic up here that you don't see everywhere. Yes, North Dakota has oil production and agriculture, but so do a lot of places. What seems unique in this region... We didn't get caught up in the subprime mortgages, and I think our bankers need to be significantly applauded for that. 150, 170, 190. The Gates City Bank is one of the largest in North Dakota. Do you think you make less money because you don't give riskier loans? Yes, I believe we do, but that's okay. North Dakotans seem to believe conservative bankers and savers have helped keep their economy steady over the years. Not too many highs, not too many lows. We have well over 12,000 plus mortgage loans that we service, and we had three foreclosures last year. And this year, I don't see it to be much greater. It could be three to five. There is concern here. Business isn't as robust as it was a few months ago. And the unemployment office is a bit busier, but... Somebody I was talking to said it well when they said, we're not signing up for the recession. Even in the frigid cold, the iron is still hot. Gary Tuckman, CNN, Fargo, North Dakota. Well, that does it for us on this Thursday. We'll see you back here tomorrow.